Welcome, and thank you for joining us at the Water and Wastewater Learning Channel. Today we're going to solve a problem that asks us to calculate the flow in a rectangular channel. The question reads, water is flowing through a rectangular channel. The channel is four feet wide, and the depth of the flow is two and a half feet deep. The velocity of the flow is two feet per second. Calculate the flow rate and report the results in gallons per minute. Now before we get started, let's talk for a minute about the physical problem that we're solving. Here's a cross section of the channel with the dimensions labeled. We can see here that the width of the channel is four feet and the depth of the flow in the channel is two and a half feet. We can also see from a side view that the velocity of the flow is two feet per second. In a real application, this channel would be flowing from one location and ultimately discharging to another location, very similar to the way a river flows. All flow rate type problems like this one utilize the same formula for calculating flow rate. The formula is Q, which is the symbol for flow rate, is equal to the velocity of the flow multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the channel shape. In this case, it's a rectangle. You will also need the formula for the area of the shape of the channel. Here we have the formula for the area of a rectangle, which is the height of the rectangle multiplied by the width of the rectangle. The very first step we want to take in solving the problem is to list out all of the knowns and unknowns given in the problem statement. For this problem, we have been given that the width of the channel is four feet the depth of the flow or height of flow is two and a half feet and the velocity is two feet per second. The unknown is the flow rate. Now let's pause for a second and talk about units. All of the known values in this problem contain the unit of feet. It's important to note that all the known values must be in a common unit of measure like feet before you can use the formula. If we had been given known values in other units, such as inches or meters, we would need to convert them to the same units before we could continue. For instance, if the problem had given us the depth of the flow in inches, we would need to convert it into feet. You must make sure that these units are consistent before proceeding with solving the problem. We are now ready to calculate the answer. The flow rate is equal to the velocity multiplied by the cross-sectional area. The area of a rectangle is given by the width multiplied by the height. The resulting calculation is the velocity multiplied by the width of the channel multiplied by the depth or height of the flow. Therefore, the flow rate is equal to two feet per second times four feet times two and a half feet, which is 20 cubic feet per second. The last step to complete the problem is to convert the results that we have from cubic feet per second to gallons per minute. You can accomplish this by taking the result we just calculated, 20 cubic feet per second, and multiplying it by 60 seconds per minute, and further multiplying it by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. The units of seconds will cancel out, the units of cubic feet will cancel out, and the final result is in gallons per minute. The final result for this problem is that the flow rate through the channel is 8,976 gallons per minute. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. If you found this video helpful, please like it and consider subscribing to the channel so that you get access to all future videos.